This, Game 7's, is why we do what we do. It's time to get you to Cleveland. Mike Breen, take it away. Well, Lika, thank you and welcome everyone. A Sunday afternoon in Ohio, the final game of the first round of these NBA playoffs. Busy sports day here. The Guardians playing the Angels. And right across the walkway, the only Game 7 of the first round, Cavaliers and Magic. The home team has won every game so far in this series. Donovan Mitchell threw up 50 points in game six, but the Cavs lost, and that's why we're here. Paolo Boncaro has been superb in his first playoff series. Now he's looking for his first playoff road win. In the other matchup, the Pacers and Knicks will start tomorrow night in New York. The Celtics anxiously awaiting their first round opponent. And good afternoon, everyone, along with J.J. Redick and Doris Burke, Mike Green on hand, Lisa Salters with us as well. Finally, we get a Game 7 in the first round. It's been an interesting series. The first four games, blowouts. The last two games, slugfest. Can't wait to see what we're going to get here this afternoon. Let's start with Cleveland. Donovan Mitchell tried his best not to have a Game 7. He threw up 50 points the other night, but it wasn't enough. What do they need from Mitchell here today, Doris? Well, in his words, he said if it's not 50, maybe it's 60. I think it's more like 30 points and 10 assists. Listen, Mike, we know he can sustain an offense by himself if need be. Of those 50 points, he scored the final 22, including 18 in the fourth. And at his best, Mike, he's a downhill driver touching the paint. He made 18 field goals in the paint, 36 points. Not since Shaq was dominating have we seen somebody do that in the playoff game. But here's the fact of the matter. This is an Orlando team that thrives on the defensive end. They're long. They're strong. He's got to involve his teammates. They need more balance. The Magic in this series, three games in Cleveland, three losses. But, J.J., this is a young and fearless team led by a young and fearless the star. Well, the Orlando Magic's young trio of Jalen Suggs, Franz Wagner, and Paolo Banquero responded in a big way in Game 6, facing elimination. But they are led by first-time All-Star Paolo Banquero. Mike, you used the word fearless. I'll add he is poised, he is confident, he is mature. The moment hasn't been too big for him. He uses his size, his strength to shoot over the top. For the series, he's at 38% from three. And that's against a great defender in Evan Mobley. Plus, he has the downhill attack and strength to score through contact. It's going to be a lot of fun to see this young star in his first Game 7. It's always fun to see how players react to a Game 7. With more on that, let's check in with Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Mike. Well, the last time the Magic were in a Game 7, Paolo Vancaro and Franz Wagner were 6 and 7 years old, respectively. They both have said that being on this stage today is like a dream come true because these are the moments they remember watching on TV as kids and hope that one day they could be a part of it. Now here they are. Paolo said he's expecting it to be the best game yet from both teams. And Wagner said he knows the sense of urgency will be at an all-time high, but he said he's also ready to just enjoy the moment. For the Cavs, Donovan Mitchell has played in a game 7-1 when his Jazz team lost to the Denver Nuggets in the bubble by two points in the first round. Mitchell said to him, Game 7, two best words in sports, that everything you've done for the previous six games goes out the window, and it will be all about who wants it more. All right, Lisa, one team goes home after today. One team moves on to face the mighty Celtics. Game 7 in Cleveland coming up next. NBA First Round is presented by ESPN Bet, the official sports book of ESPN. This presentation of NBA First Round presented by ESPN Bet will continue after this message and a word from our ABC stations. before. Mitchell with the answer. He's got to be the best player on the floor tonight. They are now going to a game seven in Cleveland. Cleveland, let's do it. Let's go out there and we'll be ready. Here we go. It's time for the Orlando Magic and the Cleveland Cavaliers. The NBA playoffs presented by Google Pixel. The first round presented by ESPN.
that. A beautiful day in Cleveland. It's always a beautiful day for playoff basketball. And a sellout crowd at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. They are loud. They watched their team fall short in game six in Orlando. They packed the place here this afternoon, hoping their team advances to the second round. Starting lineups. And good news for Orlando, Gary Harris, who missed game six with a hamstring injury. He's back in there. Bad news, though, for the Cavs. Jared Allen's going to miss his third straight game with the rib fracture. So Donovan Mitchell and the Cavs have to overcome without one of their key players. And there is just a fantastic atmosphere here. J.J. Redick, your team's played in seven game sevens while you were an active player. What's it like? It's the sickest feeling in the world, Mike. In all seriousness, I'm watching these guys come out, sort of reliving the moments in my career, playing in those game sevens. There's no feeling like it. I, and in fact, I got a little bit of that juice just standing here courtside with you guys. Sickest meaning best feeling. <laughs> yeah. And Doris, it, it, it's always fascinating to see young players who play in their first playoffs, and many of the Magic playing in their very first playoff series. It's even more fascinating when it's a game seven for the first time. So I thought their youth showed most dramatically in the first two games on this floor. They comported themselves better in game five. I expect another increase in the level of play of the Orlando Magic. The growth for both teams has been evident in the course of the series. And that young Magic team, they were down by nine in the third quarter of game six and then dominated the fourth quarter to even up the series of three games apiece. Boy, this building is ready. The team say they're ready, and here we go. The final game of the NBA's 2024 first round. And uh, the winner goes on to play the Celtics in Boston. That will start on Tuesday. And just to add to the little extra drama, they have a little clock problem <laughs> going on. It is an afternoon game, so everybody needs a little extra time to wake up. There's John Coble, the crew chief. Billy Kennedy and Kevin Scott are the other officials. Players now be in, and this makes it worse for the players. You're all hyped up. You got the starting lineup, the crowd on its feet. Just hang on a minute, guys. <laughs> well, they're working feverishly. Of course, the Cavaliers. 3-0 here on their home floor in the series. Mobley wins the tip. And again, Mobley playing without Jared Allen.